price on y'all Snake eyes on dice for y'all Shoulders on ice for y'all A6 all the hate I woke in a bar today Got lost in the ball and A's I'm flipping the bars, I'm flipping the flipping the flipping the On record, off record, I still count wins when they got it On record, off record, I let them take advantage of Hello and welcome to the fourth and final episode in the strength series. Finally, we are putting it all together so hopefully you can build your own strength program. As always, if you've got any questions, please feel free to comment on this and I'll help you in any way that I can. So, putting it together, today we're going to look at the squat um, variation of this. Um, we can switch it up if you're doing the deadlift. But we're starting our glute activation, so I would do two to three of the exercises that we showed you. For example, if I was doing this today, I'd probably go crab walks, kickbacks, side kicks, and then some glute bridges. Like I said, two or three of those exercises um, before you move on to your compound lift. So like I said, we're gonna do squat today. So our glutes are nice and activated. We're gonna go into our back squat. As mentioned in the, in the compound lift exercises, if you're not familiar with doing back squat and you're not comfortable, switch to a dumbbell goblet squat or a kettlebell squat, or just go with the bar to start with. Um, I would go around 10 to 12 reps if you're new to this. Um, yeah, so I would maybe do two to three sets, 10 to 12 reps, and then we're going to move on to our accessory exercises, which you've just seen in the last video. So today, for example, our single leg exercise is going to be a split squat, again, 10 to 12 reps. Then our core exercise, a plank, maybe 20 to 30 seconds, depending on your strength. If your lower back dips at any point, just drop your knees, have a little break before you take it back up. You don't want to be using your back, you want to be using all core strength there. Um, and then finally, our glute exercise, I would do um, dumbbell glute bridge. So you don't want to do your glute bridges in your activation, but now we're using a dumbbell to so just add a bit of weight. For this, yeah, 20 to 30 seconds on the plank, and then the rest, 10 to 12 reps and two to three sets. So we're super setting that. So I would go single leg, core, glute, and then back to the beginning, and then repeat again, two to three times. It's completely up to you. And then finally, the last part, we've got a sled, a core, and a scap strength and exercise. I would go forward sled in this instance. I'd probably do two lengths of your gym, however long your gym is. Um, I would personally, in our gym, we've got a 30 meter track, so I would do two lengths. Um, on that note, if you're doing deadlift, I would just switch to backwards sled, so you're just literally pulling it backwards rather than pulling it forwards. Um, core exercise, I'm gonna do a side plank. I would do 20 seconds each side on that one. And then scap strengthening, I'm going to go face pulls and again 10 to 12. Try to set that again two to three times. <coughs> so that is how I would kind of um, put together a strength session. That is how I train, um, with that is with my end of running and cycling being my goal. Swimming as well, obviously, but I don't put as much effort into that as I should do. Um, if you're wondering why we've got the scap strengthening exercises, obviously we're constantly in this position. It's not very good for our posture, so it's just kind of trying to amend that as well. Hopefully you found this useful. As I mentioned before, if you've got any comments, any questions, please drop me a comment below and I shall see you on the next video.